Hello friends, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to create another component and I'm going to remove this, my favorite movie is, and I'm going to display only the title of the movie, the image, because what the poster, if we go in the components here and we have a movies and for every movie, we have a poster, a runtime, a title and a year. So I'm going to display the poster, the runtime, the title, and also the year. And I remove this, my favorite is, so it's going to be something like a card. So let's go in the VS Code and inside the components, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it movie card. And inside a new file, movie card.js dot jsx okay the same thing here first we need to import the component from react okay let's create now class and i'm going to name it movie card extend components Let's call the render method and also close that and let's return what we need to return now. And first let's just return a div and I'm going to say here movie card component. Okay. Now we need to export the default. So export default. movie card save let's go in the movie list now here we are going to use that movie card import the movie card here import movie card from movie card and instead of something like this we are going to display that So I'm going to say uh, uppercase M movie card and let's close it for now. Save. And we can see we have a movie card, movie card some all the components. Go to the console. And we need to have the unique key. Okay, now in this movie card, we need to add a prop for the movie because we need to display a movie here. So let's say here, movie, which is going to be with a movie. Save, and now in the movie card, first I'm going to add a div, and in that div, uh, I'm going to add an image with with a source is going to be these props movies movie dot and what we have in the movies so let's go here single movie poster with capital P poster like this and we can add also the alt to be this props movie title very good after that let's add the h2 to be this dot props dot movie dot title very good and what we have other we have the runtime and the year and let's add uh, span which is going to be this props movie here okay another span for this prop movies uh, not here but what we have around time 
OK. Close the span and save. Let's go back and refresh. And you can see now we have some thing like this. We have a card and the last one doesn't have the image. So if I inspect elements, go to the components and see the last movie. Uh, not here in the movie list and see the last movie does not have the image. Okay. Now we need to add some styles, but not in this uh, video. You can see here we have this props movie here, the same thing here and there. So this is a good time for this structure. So we are going to say in here const movie and it's going to be to get the movie from the props here and instead of these props we can say just uh, this props movie so let's select all them and remove save and it's going to work correctly again but if you also want to remove the movie because we have movie here movie movie you want only to have the poster and the title year and runtime you can say get me the poster the title the year and also the runtime from sorry runtime from this props dot movie so we make a distraction from for the movie if i save and let's remove now all the movie we have select them remove now the movie and leave only the strings and it's going to work uh, again so it's up to you if you like something like this or what we had before and that's it how we can uh, create another component and use in this movie list component which also get the movies from the app from the parent component so this is the high level component the parent one which we added in the index.js and after the index.js is running this app.js after the app.js is going to run from up to bottom so first it's going to call the constructor and after that it's going to render and return what we have here and you can see we have this render movies which this render movies have the movie list okay so when we come here it's going to render the movie list and also when we go to the movie list it's going to, re to render from up to bottom so it's going to render what we have here and we can see now this is going to return this movie card and when it's come here it's going to render this movie card component and so on i hope you understand friends and if you like a content like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video all the best